Hello, Desiree here. I've got a chair prenatal yoga sequence for you today. Uh, I myself am 19 weeks pregnant right now, and I know that there are some days I wake up and I want to do my yoga practice, but I just don't feel like getting down on the mat. Actually, that happens when I wasn't pregnant, but now I have a really good excuse. Uh, so if you are pregnant, I do want you to check with your doctor before doing any physical activity, especially if this is something new to you. Um, if you are just starting out with yoga, definitely check with your doctor. And if you're not pregnant, please feel free to do this yoga video as well. Yoga is totally inclusive and for everybody. So we are going to start with our feet flat on the floor, not sitting all the way back in your chair. So I'm sitting more towards the front, sitting up nice and tall. And I want you to inhale, reach up your arms up. Grab your left wrist, reach up and stretch over to the right, keeping that left butt cheek on the chair. Just stretching the left side of your body. And inhale to come back up. And exhale, arms down. Inhale the arms up. Grab your right wrist, reach up and over, stretching towards the left, keeping your right butt cheek on the chair. Making sure not to lean too far so that you don't fall out of the chair. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, arms come down. Good, go ahead and clasp your hands in front of you, press the palms away, inhale. And exhale, round your back, straightening the arms, pressing your palms forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, round your back. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, round. Inhale, arms up. One more time, exhale, round. And inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, go ahead and twist towards the right, bringing your left hand to the outer edge of the right thigh. You can even grab onto the back of your chair if you'd like just to get a nice little twist, keeping your hips squared and just twisting from the waist up. Still breathing evenly here. And go ahead and inhale, come back to center, arms come overhead. And exhale, twist towards the left, bringing your right hand to the outer edge of the left thigh. Again, grabbing onto the back of your chair if you'd like and breathing evenly here. Good, inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, arms come down. Nice, go ahead and pull the shoulders back. So actually roll them back so I can make sure that you're not cheating and really getting those shoulder blades together. Tilt your head to the left. And then if you'd like, you can bring that left hand up and over, just gently pulling down to stretch the right side of your neck, making sure that you keep those shoulders back, please and still sitting up nice and tall. So we're also strengthening our posterior muscles, the muscles in our back as we sit up tall here. And inhale, come back to center. Exhale, go ahead and round. And then inhale, roll the shoulders back. Once again, good. Go ahead and tilt your head towards the right. And if you'd like, take that right hand up and over Gently pulling down just to stretch the left side of your neck. Keeping your shoulder back, please. Sitting up nice and tall, strengthening our back. Getting some extra weight in the front, so we wanna make sure that we keep the backs of our bodies nice and strong for what's to come. Inhale, come back up to center. Good, go ahead and stretch the heel of your left hand forward and we're just gonna gently pull the fingers back. So if you have hyperextended arms like I do, keep a slight bend in your arm. We're just getting a nice stretch in the forearm here. We'll hold this for a couple breaths. This is a nice one to do throughout the day, especially if you are typing a lot or texting a lot or driving a lot holding a lot of stress in your hands. And go ahead and flip that hand over, stretching the other way now. And please make sure you're not locking if you're hyperextended, just a slight bend. Good, breathing evenly. And then we'll do the other side, you can shake it out. And we'll do the other side, ooh, this side's tighter on me. 
which is interesting because I am dominant on the other side. But our bodies are very weird, so you just never know what's happening. Again, make sure that you're not locking that arm out, keeping a slight bend, and then we'll go ahead and flip it over. Don't look at my nails, please. I've got, I'm picking the polish off. I know it's not good for your nails. I can't help it. Please don't judge me. Yoga. And settle back to center. Good, go ahead and shake it out. Next, I'd like you to take your left ankle and cross it over the right thigh. This is one of my favorite stretches ever, of all time. I want you to flex your left foot and then pull the pinky toe towards the floor. This is gonna help protect our knee. From here, you can either just lean forward or if you want, you can take that left arm to the left shin and press down gently as you lean forward. Or if you want, you can even thread your arm through holding on to the right shin as you lean forward even more. So for me, that's getting a little difficult to breathe, so I'm gonna keep it right here. But you do whichever version feels good for you. Either way, I want you to make sure you're getting a nice stretch and that left hip and butt cheek. This is such a great stretch. I love the figure four stretch. <sighs> nice, I can stay here all day, but let's go ahead and switch sides. So we'll cross right ankle over left thigh, flexing that foot, pulling the pinky toe towards the floor, and then taking whatever version you did on the first side. Remember, you can either just lean forward or you can press down gently with your arm or you can thread through and lean forward even more. Like the other side, I'm just gonna stay here and get a nice stretch in my hip. Breathing evenly, of course. And we never want anything to hurt. Pain is not good. Slight discomfort, that's totally fine. Pain, not good. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to center on crossing your legs. And this time we're gonna take our feet wide to um, pretty much a goddess pose, except we're just seated, so it's a little less challenging than it would be if we didn't have a chair under us. So from here, you can either keep your hands on your thighs and press the knees back gently, or you can even bring your elbows to your thighs, pressing back gently. So whichever way you're doing it, just a gentle press back. We're not trying to wrench our legs open. So just a gentle push. And then whether you're on your elbows or your hands, you can go ahead and take the left hand to the left thigh and gently press away, maybe getting even more of a stretch on that left inner thigh. So if you're on your hands, it would look like this. And we're just gonna hold this. Breathing evenly. And we'll switch to the other side. Oh, I'm so close to a hip crack. Oh, so close. It's not gonna happen. It's unfortunate. Good, and we'll come back to center. All right, go ahead and bring your knees together. And now we're just gonna stand up for just a few poses. We're almost done. But I really want to make sure we get this pose in. So I'm just gonna flip my chair around. You may not have to. I want you to take your hands to the back of your chair Walk your feet back. I still want them to be under your hips. And we're just going to stretch forward. So if you'll notice, this is pretty much the position of a down dog. And this is just a great shoulder stretch and chest stretch. So I want you to pull the shoulder blades together. So to, uh, I want you to see that as I do it. So I'm up here, pull the shoulder blades together and then melt the chest towards the floor. And you can take your feet as wide as you need to to accommodate your belly whatever size it might be right now. I'm keeping a slight bend in my knees so I don't lock them out. And I actually like to do this. When I get up in the morning, I do this on the edge of my bed. It feels really great. Keep pulling those shoulder blades together. Nice, and then we'll come back up. Just coming back to standing, and you can shake out your arms. And then one more standing pose, just because I know that my quads and my hip flexors are getting super tight lately. We're just gonna do a traditional quad stretch. So grabbing that same foot with same hand, I'm on my right foot, right hand right now. And we wanna squeeze the knees together, push your tush back, 
And then as you stand, you'll scoop your tailbone to get a nice stretch in the quad and hip flexor. And then I'm also kicking my foot into my hand here to create more of a stretch. Nice, and without letting the leg slingshot, we'll work our way over to the other side. Good. We'll take the other side again, bringing the knees together, push your tush back, scoop the tailbone as you stand, kicking the foot into the hand, getting a nice quad stretch here. We'll just hold for a couple breaths. And release, good. Then I'm gonna leave you with one last thing. So we'll come back to seat, uh, sitting. And you can either sit at the edge of your chair or you can lean back. But I just want you to do some connection breaths and that's just a nice way to get your pelvic floor moving and connect your breath with the pelvic floor. So for those who don't know, your pelvic floor muscles are those muscles that you can use like if you're going to the bathroom and you stop the flow midstream. Why did I just do it? I just did it. But you stop the flow midstream. So those are the muscles. Those are your pelvic floor muscles. So when you're doing this connection breath, as you inhale, you want to relax everything because your diaphragm expands, the pelvic floor drops down, everything expands. And as you exhale, you want to lift the pelvic floor. So you'll use those muscles that stop the flow when you're going to the bathroom, uh, when you're urinating, to use those muscles to stop as you're doing the exhale, okay? So I'm just gonna talk you through a couple of them and then I want you to do about 10 of them on your own nice and slow. It's a great way to work the pelvic floor. It's a great way to connect the breath. And it's also a great way to just kind of ground yourself. It's like a short meditation. So you've got a three for one right there. So you can either take your hands to your thighs, belly, or one hand to rib cage, one hand to belly. Whichever one you wanna do is totally fine. Inhale, feel everything expand. And then exhale, lifting the pelvic floor just like you're stopping yourself from urinating, pulling that belly button in, ribs come in. Inhale, everything releases. And exhale, everything contracts. So I only want like a, not a 100% squeeze of your pelvic floor muscles, just a slight squeeze, just so we can get them working because we also want them to relax on the inhale. And exhale. Good, so I'm gonna leave you there because it's very difficult for me to talk and do the connection breaths, especially right now. But I want you to do about 10 of those on your own. And I am grateful that you chose to practice with me today. And I hope you feel a little bit better, a little more grounded, whatever you needed to get out of this yoga practice. Thank you.